get your coffee get your snack because we are going to be talking all things manifestation dream life goals and achieving them hi guys welcome back to another video today is day five of vlogmas if you guys are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because i am posting every day this month for vlogmas and you guys don't want to miss a video today we are going to be talking about building our dream life in 2024 manifesting our dream life in 2024 and the goals that i have for 2024 and how i'm going to manifest them into my reality this year 2024 is right around the corner it's coming up quicker than we think it's time to get down to business with our goals a new year is always a nice new reset refresh get yourself back on track get yourself focused i am outside this coffee shop going to get a coffee because i think better when i have coffee and i'm gonna write down my goals with you guys and let you guys know what i have in store for 2024 and how I'm just gonna manifest those goals. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tips and tricks on how you can manifest your dream life because I've manifested quite a few things so far in my life that I never even thought was possible until I realized like that you can actually manifest your reality i feel like social media makes it seem like manifesting is like so easy and like things just come to you like that the next day there are some kind of like tips and tricks that can help you with making your dream life a reality i don't know what kind of coffee i ordered but tell me this doesn't look like one of the best coffees you've ever seen i haven't been here in forever but i got a ice latte with almond milk and then vanilla cinnamon soft top they call it which i think is just um cold foam but we're gonna do a quick taste test first because I need to get this on camera. See if it's good because <laughs> that is really good. I honestly was expecting it to be so sweet, but it's not that sweet at all. One of the first things you're gonna wanna do is get your iPad, notebook, journal, whatever it is you use to write in. I like to use my iPad and you are going to make a list of all the things you can think of right now that you want to achieve in 2024. If you're working on a business, do you want to get a certain number of sales? If you're working on your social media, do you want a certain number of followers? And you're going to be specific about what it is that you want. Try not to leave anything out. Try to be as detailed as possible when it comes to manifesting what you want. You don't want to be vague about what it is that you want because, for example, after I graduated esthetician school, I made a manifestation that I would be making a certain amount of money each week. I wrote it down in a journal and then I never specified that I'd be making it from aesthetics and I ended up working in a restaurant where I was making more than what I had wrote, written down and I looked back on it and I was like, I can't believe I manifested that, but no wonder why I'm working in a restaurant. I wasn't specific about wanting to work in the aesthetics industry. So everything is law of attraction and everything is the way you think. Your thoughts will manifest into your reality. So if you're constantly thinking negative, like, oh, I have no money, oh, I, my job sucks, oh, I don't look good, I'm ugly, my this, my that. If you are constantly speaking negatively about yourself, about what it is you do in your life, your body and anything those things will cause you to attract more of those things if you keep saying oh i have no money right for example you're gonna keep attracting things that come up that is gonna keep making you lose money so like you're gonna get more bills and you're gonna get something that causes you to spend money and something with your car something with your your home your apartment whatever it is but if you can flip your mindset into this is happening for me not to me there's a reason why there's a bigger picture here i trust god i trust that things are working out exactly how they're supposed to be then you're gonna switch your mindset into attracting abundance and to attracting that lifestyle that you want for yourself and one of the things that i've learned is that you need to start acting like you are the person that you want to become act like it now even if you don't have all the things that you want, act like you are that person. I, I do want to be an influencer and I want to motivate people and be in the beauty industry and be a business owner, entrepreneur, and all those things. I am starting to become those things because I acted in a way that I started acting how I would imagine myself to act if I already had all those things, right? So if I was a business owner, I'd be looking up spaces if i was a business owner i'd be looking up products to buy i'd be looking up you know be researching the market and if i was an influencer i'd be posting like one and 
I, there is a big fear of getting over feeling embarrassed posting about it. Like the, uh, that's was my biggest thing in the beginning. And now I just don't care. Like if people who follow me don't like to see my stuff, they could just unfollow. Like it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. And it does seem nerve wracking at first and it takes time to get over that feeling. But if you can get past those feelings of feeling embarrassed to post your life, how are you ever going to be somebody that's an influencer? You know, if that's what you want, like to be a content creator, if you can't post without feeling embarrassed, then how are you going to be that girl that is an influencer, right? You have to start acting like you are one. Post your coffee, post your gym workout, post this, post that, take clips, set up the camera in the gym like conquer those fears and you'll be able to manifest things a lot quicker once you start acting like the person you want to become i'm not a master at this type of stuff but it has worked for me in the past that's why i have this car i manifested this car this was one of my dream cars and i have bigger dream cars that i want to manifest now in the future but this was the car at the time that I really wanted so bad. And I was like, I ended up getting a really good check for a down payment from my last car because it ended up being totaled because I got in like a small accident that ruined the bumper. And then they totaled it and they gave me a really good check, which was more money than I paid for it at the time when I got it five years prior. How is that even possible to work out? I manifested, I didn't think I would ever get out of restaurants and bartending and stuff like that. And I somehow ended up finding a suite that was perfect for me to start a business in and now i'm working towards it and it's not an easy thing to do there's a lot of hard work that goes behind manifesting so i don't think you could just manifest something and not put in the work you have to meet it both ways the thing with manifestation is you have to also release it that's when the law of detachment comes into play and this is the hardest part i think about manifestation because you obsess over this thing and you want this thing so bad right hold on i need a coffee break I'm like on a roll with talking right now and I feel like a motivational speaker but put me in front of a live audience put me in front of 20 people or even one person and I cannot talk this way that's one of the things I want to overcome in 2024 is public speaking I want to be a person who's able to speak in crowds and speak to people without being nervous and scared and stage fright and all these things anyway the law of detachment is probably one of the hardest parts of manifesting because you want something so bad you're obsessing over this thing right I want my business so bad I want to blow up on social media so bad I want to be an influencer and help girls this is something that i that i actually want you have to understand what it is that you want write it down say it out loud you know do all those things but then release it and just understand that what i want is coming to me and it'll come when it needs to i trust the universe i trust god has a plan for it to perfectly come in divine timing and then you just let it go you just continue doing those things though that would get you to that point you can't have the problem and the solution exist at the same time right you can't have what you want and what you already have at the same time what you want and what you have don't exist at the same time so you have to act like you already have it for it to become part of your current reality does that make sense to you guys your mind is the most powerful tool that you have your mind is the most powerful tool that you have. If you think negatively and you're always thinking of problems, you're just going to keep attracting more problems. But if you think positively and like, you know what, this is for a reason. This is happening for a reason and it's going to be a good reason down, down the line. Or good things always happen to me. I'm the luckiest girl in the world, right? Lucky girl syndrome is another thing that I could talk for hours about. Assuming you're the luckiest girl in the world. If you truly believe that, like in your head, you're like, I'm just the luckiest girl in the world. That's why good things always happen to me, you know? And you convince yourself of that and you believe it in your mind. Maybe you'll get a free coffee that day. You'll start getting opportunities. People will reach out to you. You really have to have a stronger mindset and you have to think better thoughts because your thoughts become your reality. So the way to control your reality is through the mind. Maybe to some of you guys, I sound like a crazy person, but this is true and this works. And I've seen it before, not only with myself, but with some people around me. I think once I stopped caring so much about the outcome of things that's when things started to take off for me i hit a thousand subscribers i hit three million views on one of my instagram reels i hit almost four million views on one of my tiktoks and then i hit another two point something million on another one of my tiktoks just a couple of days ago and 
I don't even have that many followers on TikTok. I have a thousand followers on TikTok. So to be getting those kind of views with only a thousand followers, and I'm not gaining a lot more followers right now, which is a little frustrating, but it's okay because I want to build a community of people who actually want to watch me. I don't want a bunch of followers who don't really care what I have to say. So I'm going to read you guys my list of goals for 2024. 2024 is the year of abundance. It adds up to eight. Eight is the number of abundance. So I expect a lot of abundance in all aspects of life this year no specific order of these goals so i wrote down make 10k a month from my business my beauty business i said make 5k a month from social media get monetized on youtube 100k subscribers on youtube 100k followers on tiktok 100k followers on instagram receive pr from my favorite makeup and skincare brands get paid to post on social media have my dream body toned bigger butt smaller waist gain healthy weight those are like my specifications on what i want for my dream body um clearer skin go on a brand trip get invited to popular brand pr events be the best brow artist in lamination and tint and shaping trade in my car and upgrade to another car i'm not gonna tell you guys which one but if i manifest this you guys will see which one build a strong community on my social media of people who relate and support one another so Right now, these are my goals. I will add to it throughout the month. And I am going to rewrite these goals in my journal. I'm going to put them in words as if I've already received them. What you're gonna do after you make your goal list of goals. So like I just made a list of goals and I'll probably add to it. So I'm gonna have my list of goals and then I'm gonna have a journal where I write down those things as if they already happened. So I'm going to be thankful for them, be grateful for them. And I'm going to say, so like for let's say 100K subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to say, I cannot believe I gained 100K subscribers on YouTube. I'm so grateful and so happy that this has happened. You're saying that you already have it even though you don't. I'm so happy my business is making $10,000 a month. I'm gaining more clients every day and I am so thankful my business is succeeding. So when you're manifesting, there's important things. There's law of attraction, law of detachment, gratitude, and your subconscious mind. Just make sure you understand that every day is a blessing and every day is a new beginning and every day is a fresh start to manifest your goals and work towards your goals. If you really put your mind to it and you really put in the work, show gratitude and do all the things that, you know, I basically mentioned in this video, all the things that I really talked about, if you are consistent with those and keep a positive mindset and positive attitude, and it's not the easiest thing. I know there's going to be days where it's it's hard to even get up and want to do anything, but if you can try your hardest and try your best and know every day that you tried your best, you'll manifest everything you want. Especially in this, in this year of abundance, you will manifest all the things that you want. So hopefully that all made sense to you guys. Hopefully you guys gained something out of it. Let me know down in the comments if you want to hear more about manifesting and if you like these types of videos where I talk about these types of things, let me know down in the comments. For the new year, make sure you write down your goals and make sure you journal them and write them down how I told you to and we'll check back in here a year later and see where we're at because I told you some of my goals and things that I'm manifesting for this year. So, you know, comment down below some of the things that you guys are manifesting this year and some of the goals you have. And we can track back a year from now and see next December what it is that you manifested into your reality and if you received it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of talking, but I hope you guys gained something out of this video. And I do wish that your goals come to your reality in 2024 and that you're able to manifest things like that. Thank you guys again for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow for day six of Vlogmas. Vlogmas. <laughs> day six of Vlogmas.